Alright, welcome to King Arthur's Gold. It is a free game, although he is accepting $10 for the premium version. I'm not really sure what that includes additionally. But for free, you can play online with other people like I am right now. And this is actually the third video I started for this game. Because the first two, I had a shitty team. And it sucks playing in the city shitty team, so... I'm gonna build the typical five high. And then team door wall. Oops, those are spikes. So, it's capture the flag. And... There's build time, and this red area is off limits, and the other team is building on the other side. Oh, look, this map has a mountain. I haven't seen one of those put in yet. The different servers are different levels sometimes. They have custom levels, or sometimes. See this? I don't know what these guys are doing over here. I see new building stuff all the time that I don't really understand. But I have only been playing for a few days. So in the beginning, for the first, new game will begin in 200 seconds. The materials are free. Every time you go back to the tent, you get reloaded for free of materials. So to build as much as possible in the start while the materials are free. You basically just want to build defense. And the best defense is usually a tower with spike pits in front and behind it. Now, there are few different types of blocks. There are team doors, which will only open for your team, like these right here. And if you and there are stone blocks, which are like the strongest blocks in the game. And if you alternate stone blocks with team doors, this guy needs to get out of my way so I can build. Then that's actually the fastest way to climb a wall. See how that guy just shot up the wall. And so even though there are ladders, ladders are the slow way to go up and down things. So I'm gonna try to build up this tower if these guys would get out of the fucking way. It's really fun when you have good builders on your team and you end up building these really epic castle wall defenses and spike pits and sometimes when the wall is really good the other team has an easier time just digging under your wall than trying to break through it. And so a lot of times people will, on your team will dig down underneath the wall and extend the wall underground. Alright, I've got 115 more seconds of free resources. Alright, just got my resources refilled. Yeah, this team's doing pretty good. I had to quit two games before this that I was casting or commenting. Because the team was just so bad they just weren't building any sort of defenses in any coherent way. These guys are obviously working on spike pits down here. So there's a team bridge, trap bridge, which these layers inside are. And your team can stand on them, but if an enemy stands on them, they collapse. So typically you put team bridges with spike pits underneath them. Um, that's not what goes there. I don't know what this music is, it's a random playlist. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So I got 60 more seconds go back and refill my resources for free one last time. So you can get this game at kag2d.com, standing for King Arthur's Gold 2D.com. And it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I think it's a pretty fun game. These guys are building shops over here. Built a bomb shop, built a arrow shop. Uh, healing shack. Go back and get my wood refilled. I think they built this tower back here to shoot off of, shoot arrows off of once. Uh, the other team's getting close to our flag. See, our flag is right here in this tent. You can't really see it. And after the round starts in five seconds, each team has a limited number of respawn lives. And so typically if you're on the defensive, just shooting arrows off your tower, tower, tower and letting the enemies run up and fall in the spike pit, then you lose less lives than them. But it's not very fun to play on the defensive all the time, so a lot of times people will just run ahead and fight. So 
I'm gonna keep building though, at least until I run out of my last resources here. Sometimes the rounds can be quite long, especially because a lot of people play defensively, and it becomes a little bit of a stalemate. So there are three classes in this game. Oops, I forgot to build a door on the second block so people can shoot up it. The three classes are Builder, Knight, and Archer. I don't have enough for another door, so I can't fill in that gap that is made. I've never really seen it with this hill in the mountains. That's gold that you can mine in the hills right over there. So this is a pretty good tower that our team made, and then we've got the secondary tower defending our flag here. Um, I guess I'm going to switch to knight class. After I use up the rest of my stone here. I've always enjoyed the building role when they offer it in games. Okay, I need to go get some wood. build a team door right here so the other team can't come through here. Let's see, I have almost enough gold to get a catapult. Holy shit, I'm getting shot at. Soldiers, I better run away. Oh, that was a fireball. Right, I'm also gonna build it. Oh, here come the soldiers! Oh man, they almost got me. All right, so they can't get through this wall. All right, this song is awful. Oh, I died on... Oh, this killed me with this sword. Hope I didn't drop all my gold. Oh, I still have some of it. Right, I'm going to change to soldier, or knight class. So with knight class, right click is your shield. I just jumped on spikes. And left click is sword swing. If you hold it down, it's a power swing. A lot of times as a soldier it's good to put up your defense in front of one of your friendly archers because then the enemy arrows bounce off your shield and it protects your own team. The mouse scroll zooms in and out. Sometimes it's good to see farther. Like I said, these games can take quite a long time for a single round, maybe an hour, sometimes. See the enemy's getting stuck down in the spike trap at our bottom of our tower. Oh man! How did I give myself into pieces? That's weird. Not sure what happened there. I have no money. 